Random TV Reviews, your girl and that. Your boy Stanley. Look, this Look, is an what? addendum. <laughs> it's definitely a. We missed a whole lot. I really, <laughs> I did not realize that it was a freaking finale. I'm glad that y'all took and told us to come back and watch this right here, man. For real? DVR Money. for real? But the way DVR cut off, I just thought that we were missing out on the last part of probably yeah, we're getting this house back. Exactly. I ain't had no idea all this did happen. But anywho, we're going to run it because it's Friday. We got skipped to do. Yeah. We grown and we got to get the real Jack. Yeah. So, we saw that Nova changed the name of the book. So, now the book is named um, Blessings, Blessings in Blood. Blood. And she dedicated her first copy to Aunt Vi. And I said, okay, Nova, I'm looking over there at your vision board. And I see everything from Ralph Angel's paternity yeah. to sleeping with white married cops. What is in that book? Because if you looked at the best man, you would know that you get your a whoop. got hit hard part whooped. But I wonder with her, because she took down Ralph Angel, she took down Calvin and all the other people, but she left her stuff up there. So I wonder did she revise it. And took she them out. Could've. She could have revived. I have it. very little faith that she did. We'll find out next season, though. No, all the stuff she took down is in volume one. <laughs> volume two <laughs> is coming through. So then we see Ralph Angel coming home. He coming home to cops sitting on his property, posted up waiting for him. And I said, Oh Lord, the robbery. Because y'all know that that robbery yeah. is coming back. Well, anywho, they told Ralph Angel said, Hey, we need you to come down to the station. To answer a few questions. Ralph Angel was like, question about what? You got a warrant? <laughs> so this is where Homeboy decided to let his motives be known. Listen, you can spit on the ground right now, and I could throw every all your skid away because you still have one month left on, on your, your parole. parole. I said, okay, I this, said, Here we go with this, this is what we're playing. Yeah. But thank God. See, you know what? God just works in mysterious ways. Yeah. Because ever since Ralph Angel went down there and talked to Twan. Yep. He been having his temper under control. Mm -hmm. He been handling things in decency in order so that the Lord can bless. Yeah. And he said, you know what? Um, when you pulled up on the property, there are cameras all the way around here. So they saw when you pulled mm -hmm. up, they see the interaction we're having now. So basically the cop was like, and they rolled out. Now, now see, I don't even want it to end right there. Me either. You need to go get that tape right now. Right, I'm sorry. <laughs> get that tape right there, Ralph Angel, and take it down to the station and show them that these two nutkids are down here trying to get you to lose your parole. Don't yeah. let them get away with that bull skin. Because yeah. they're about ready to mess your life up. Mm. And since there is some fire behind this whole movement right here, yeah. jump on the back of your nephew's uh, Micah's yep. hashtag. And make it go viral. See, this is what they're doing down here in the dirty south. Yep. They're trying to set us up. Exactly. But let me go ahead and play devil's advocate on this one. Ralph Angel, you look like you ain't got not nail signal for no Wi-Fi down there at that ham. No, indeed. How the hell you got some guy <laughs> cameras around the property? He think he, was, he think he was playing. Do he look like he got a Wi-Fi signal? He, was, he think he was playing pimping. <laughs> well, they believed it. Yeah, if he got it, then he got but, that Metro PCS. But you know what? You know, you know, dish, um, uh, uh, freaking D dish, dish, give you that freaking satellite internet for a hundred and fifty dollars for, for two speeds up and two speeds down. Do anything look like Ralph Hager got some goddamn? <laughs> but you know what? He might have got the cameras when that night that they was out there trying to rob his field. You remember? He might have got the cameras then. For the benefit of the show, Ralph Hager got got. Got some kind of internet going around there where he can stream his gun. You know what he got, man? He got some battery powered cameras, man. We can That's all you need. Don't even do it. That's all you need. Don't even do it. That's all you need. All right. A solar, a solar uh, uh, camera. We can't make this make sense right here. <laughs> they had a Tyler Perry moment in this one. <laughs> so, anywho, Charlie. Charlie goes over there to see the pissed off cat, Sam Landry. She let herself in. Basically, Sam. Sam was drinking his liquor. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> let her know listen you know i'm having a little bit of issues because it looks like someone decided to air out my dirty laundry and now i'm having problems getting people to call me back and da da da, da. she said mm, you don't say hey. so she let it be known that it was me uh-huh I, I took part in doing that so he turned around and he let her know said listen you basically you're you're way out of your league here honey um you're playing with the devil if my sister is willing to stab her own brother in the back and watch him go down slow, what do you think she's going to do to you? 
in so many words, y'all are saying, bring it. Uh -huh. I, I ain't never two, scared. I don't give two ups about neither one of y'all. I can handle every devil to come my way. I said, I knew that's right. Then she told him, said, and be careful. And I mean that. Uh-huh. Yep. Be very careful. I yep. said, okay. So we're going to see with this whole la um, Sam Landry um, thing come on. And she told him, said, there's been a whole lot of devils that I fought with. Ones I know and ones I don't know. But what I am going to do, I will. I conquer them all. Conquer them all. Yeah. I said, okay. More than a conqueror. Yes, dude. Dude, Christ, your strip is crazy. Yeah, uh -huh. I feel good about this, but I Charlie got another win. We only thought she had one win, man. She got that's two wins right there. I one feel night. good about it. Yeah, but I feel like it's gonna be short lived. Say, though. say the devil meant it for my evil, but God meant it for my good. God don't. Mm -hmm. So then we got the real hashtag of black love right in front of us. Yes, God, indeed, it. man. That way they did that wedding was genius. Well, I like we, it. We're man. gonna go to the we're gonna go to the wedding gift first because I believe this was part of the wedding gift. That guy though in Hollywood though took Aunt Vi down there. He basically had her had her blindfolded with his hands. Took her inside the high yellow. When she opened her eyes, he said, Everything that you see when you open your eyes is yours. yours. She opened her eyes and she was like, Hold on, hold on, I'm confused. What what what? He said, Don't even worry about how I knew. Just know no, that I knew. I know. I saw. And I conquered exactly. all the shows. And in case all of that ego thing you got going on, this control thing starts sneaking up on you a little bit, ain't nobody name on it either but yours. Not even Yo. mine. Yep. So anything that happens between us, this is still Yo. yours. She was like, then she started, I said, don't you, don't you talk your way. Out of this. Cause you know her. But she got the high yellow, y'all. He don't bought the high he don't yellow. We were trying to tell her to let Hollywood do something for her exactly. instead of splitting your goddamn profits with somebody that don't need your goddamn. Exactly. So now he, she don't even need um what you call it no nah, more now. Well, she kind of do because I mean she yeah, she do she do and she don't because I think he was gonna buy the place for her. He was. Which that was gonna up the ante as far as what he gonna get as far as. The equity to get that to recoup that money back. Mm -hmm. So she was gonna be in debt to him until he recouped that back. Yeah. But not no more. Hey. I'm free. Free and clear. I'm free. So we saw everyone pulling up to a uh, vast place. And you could you know, we've seen this scene before where they've had like a little shing they get together down at the yard. Yeah. So everybody was like, Well, what's going on? I mean, Mr. Prosper is there, Kiki and Micah mm -hmm. are there. All the immediate family. All the immediate, there. Except, for except for Hollywood Mama. Yeah, she did, won't. Did y'all right, notice? Won't, yeah, she wasn't present. Huh? Huh? Hollywood, we, we, we gonna want you to live. We want you to live. Next day, we know they came up. They saw these chairs lined up. And the pastor comes walking out the door. And y'all know when the pastor speak, don't nobody rebuttal anything that he uh. got to say. They just be like, huh? He said, I want everybody to take a seat. And they took a seat. He walked his home, right back, back in, in the house. house. I said, y'all, you know y'all can speak again. He, yeah. he in the house. <laughs> Next thing we know, those doors opened up. And it was so breathtaking. Yeah. Guy and Hollywood came out that door in their oatmeal Man, color. they were some good looking Attire, black folk on that screen, boy. I'm telling you. Pale pink and oatmeal. I said, oh my God. Some more black love. Woo! Black brilliance. Black beauty. Just blackness, just all over just the coming place. through, boy. God, don't. That's so, what I'm talking about. They told the family, look, listen, we didn't want to wait no longer. Uh -huh. We need to go ahead and do this thing and do it now. Yeah. And I said, I like this right here, but let me play devil's advocate one more again. Hollywood, what about your dreams, man? Yeah. You wanted this big, elaborate wedding mm -hmm. in this reception you don't put money down on it where your cake where the cake yeah, at uh -huh. when y'all did the tasting and everything uh, I, maybe this might be the pre-wedding and they're gonna have a big one but i have known nobody that have done a pre-one and end up doing a big one me either. i don't know nobody because by then it's time to buy houses and cars and crap but you want to know what that scene remind me of it took me all the way back to the first episode when their dad died and they was all in all that white Mm. That took me mm. all the way back then, but this time it wasn't for death. It was for life and love and marriage, man. God, torn. That was powerful. So then they so, get to the point. Go ahead. I would say so. If you if you ain't married and looking to get married, 
That's a perfect example. That's an example of how to how knock your love together with the person that you love, man. I'm telling you, do it just like that. You know, change it up just a little bit. Yeah, don't be, but, don't be but, copying off. But that can be, that can be a template, you know. You Look, know. don't copy off people's weddings. Yeah, yeah, we know all about that. But just, yeah, <laughs> just use Look, it as a template. We went to weddings after our wedding, and we literally saw four weddings that were exactly like ours. Yeah, I mean, they tried to duplicate everything, so you can't do that. But it's our all wedding video still going viral. Yeah. But then who um, they started with the vows. I ain't gonna go through the vows because y'all saw it and if y'all didn't see it, it's worth it. They were deep and powerful. So basically, in a nutshell, Aunt Vi has realized what true love is. Yeah. And it ain't this this thing to have all these boundaries, rules, stipulations. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Real love is freedom. Yeah. And she finally feels free to love unconditionally knowing that this man is not going to intentionally hurt her exactly. and she even said even on your worst day your worst and your jagged edges still fit, fit mine and i said oh uh, and said on your on your worst days that your spirit is so high that you still gonna be better God. i <laughs> felt like i was in got no revival i was sitting there like you better free <laughs> yes <laughs> And then Hollywood came through with his vows. Yeah. And he said, that day that I met you, girl, I was feeling mighty bad. I tell you, I was feeling mighty low. But when I seen you, I knew there was, was a God. God. He said, because that day earlier, I had felt it some bushes. I had fe and I felt it was some beautiful violets, African violets. And I came to the hot yellow, and you sat there and you said, how can I make you happy? And he said from that day forward, my life was changed. I said, let him use you. <laughs> Come on. Mm, Shoot about a Honda. <laughs> Hollywood. God don't. He done took me straight to revival. Mm. With, with, with my church fame at me. <laughs> Man, your funeral home fan? Man. Yeah, that was powerful. I'm so glad that y'all told us to go back and do this and watch it. We're forever and dead. Yeah, so uh, this is me pumped for next season. I can't wait to see what's next. I can't wait. But y'all, listen, black folks can find a reception. Yeah, they were packed. I said, they ain't come to no way where they won't invite it. But all you got to do in the country, see, that was real stuff right there. Yeah. In the country, all you got to do is hear the music and you follow it. Yep. And you be like, such and such having a yard party down there by the pool hall. Yep. Who? Everybody start coming in. It like don't matter. They say just come on through. Yep. People come in and like next the thing drones, you know, everybody. Yep. You know, you greet the um the people that live there, let them know that you there, and you keep on going. Just don't tear up their yard. Yeah. Don't tear up their flower beds. Exactly. And, and don't park all underneath their tree. Exactly. You're good to go. Straight from the VA. The dirty, 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 dirty black love south. Two up. Suits out. Holla. Holla.